Hey guys, today we get to talk about a few more cards that were leaked. I have no idea how this person got these cards, because he got an entire deck it looks like. So, one of the newer cards is Tagam, Ojete Master, to a white and a blue legendary creature. Instant sorcery and dragon spells you control can't be countered by spells or abilities. That's pretty nice in EDH because there will always be that one person playing the control. I'm going to counter whatever you play deck. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell from your hand, if Tagam or Jete Master attack this turn, that spell gains rebound. Pretty cool. Rebound is a effect that we first saw in Rise of the Adrazi. And it's obviously one that Narset tried to use but didn't use successfully. The more exciting card in my opinion is Orgachi, Vengeful Kami. Another 5 color dragon. I mean why not? We need more 5 color commanders, right? One, a white, a blue, a black, a red, a green, legendary creature, dragon spirit, flying trample whenever it, it deals combat damage to a player. If that player attacked you during his or her last turn, exile target non-land permit that player controls. Really, really cool effect. I like that concept that if a player attacked you and you attack back, you get to do something extra. And this extra is pretty good. Essentially, it is a... 6-6 six, six Flying Trample, which tells your opponents, you shouldn't attack me, maybe attack someone else. And that type of effect is very good. Especially the more players there are in EDH. So, are these leaks real or are they not real? Um, one of the reasons I believe it's real as of this recording, it's a lot of effort to keep making new cards right if he was just like oh it's just a bunch of reprints that would kind of make sense but because he's kind of designing his new cards and the design is actually very elegant i believe these are real cards given the fact that he has designed if they were fake he went ahead and designed a few fake cards now why are there so many leaks on this card i mean it's one deck yes but how did he get the entire deck when the release is August 2017. It's really interesting that he has pretty much, sometimes when people leak, they don't want the leaks to come back to them. Uh, this person is the reverse, where he is leaking the cards kind of one by one until uh, to get the most traction on his Instagram page. So it is likely he probably found a deck maybe at a Walmart or a Target early that wasn't supposed to have the deck. And sometimes that happens when we get the judge promos Azusa before the judge judges or it's before it's even announced. And the most famous example is a one that I will talk a little bit about later, a Broodmaid Dragon, where the Broodmaid Dragon was released at Target, actually only at Walmart before it was actually out. So anyway, the other cards that we have are dragons. It looks like from what the Scion of the Your Dragon is a very pricey card. That is not a cheap card. So that's a good reprint. It looks like we get pretty much all the other dragons. And that is incredible. Like I'm very pleased with the amount of dragons they put in this deck and it makes a lot of sense uh, these are easier to fake and if he just sh showed a ton of these fake cards or these cards that are easier to fake then i would say okay but he's making new cards right he's showing new cards and he's showing new mechanics and those new mechanics like eminent seem very good to me and those other new mechanics that like revenge that's very smart uh, if Wizard Coast didn't think of these mechanics, then they should have paid this dude to uh, join their team because these Eminence and the Revenge mechanic to me make a lot of sense as well as having, you know, the flavor of the Ojetai Masters again. Uh, hopefully, maybe we'll see a Narset. Maybe a Narset. Uh, anyway, I'm very happy to have a dragon deck with actual good dragons in it. It's been some time since we've had something that this exciting. And I do regard this as exciting because dragons are one of the original tribes. So Syrian dragon, dragon whelp. 
and the history of every set having a Mega Dragon, some of them not playable, actually most of them not playable, but having uh, value, dragons will always have casual appeal. And having like stuffing this commander deck with so many dragons and so many new dragon abilities is a, co a good concept to sell the product. They always do a good job on these products. Commander 2016 was excellent. Uh, from this particular deck, I think Commander 2017, at least the Dragon deck, looks fantastic and was something that I would be interested in, even as just, okay, let's accumulate as many dragons as possible. This is the deck to do so, and just buying this deck, you get so many of them, and you get new dragons, More, most importantly. Anyway, leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.